Fortunately, no disasters here today, at least. Yeah, we get some uh, quieter weather out there for today. So let's take a look at it. We got lots of clouds out there, but pleasant. A stray shower possible later this afternoon into the evening. 50% uh, chance of rain on Friday. And then some rain Saturday, but drier weather moves in on Sunday. Now here's the setup for this. We get high pressure around. Yesterday was a nice day, uh, some high thin clouds. Well, today the clouds are thicker and there's quite a bit of them. The rain is off to our west, but eventually these showers are going to move in. I mean, high pressure is still close by, should keep them off to the west uh, at least for most of the day. But then tonight, tomorrow, the rain's going to move in. This is from the remnants of Beta, which have making a strong push to the northeast, that moisture. And so it's just thickening up eventually. Luckily, at the surface today, it's still fairly dry. Now, our temperatures, they're in the 70s. We got cloud cover so that we'll see highs in the 70s today. Uh, upper 70s to near 80 north and south of us. I think that's because we got so many thick clouds. Look at these temps in the 80s and 90s over the central U.S., even up in the Midwest. I mean, that's a little unusual to be hitting 80s and 90s this time of year. Uh, so for them, for us, we're going to have more clouds and showers tomorrow. So we're actually going to be cooler than Chicago and Minneapolis. We'll be at 72 tomorrow, 73. All right, so Super Doppler 10 radar right now. A couple sprinkles maybe over the Outer Banks. Hard to tell if that's actually hitting the ground, though. And then Farmville, a couple of sprinkles, but nothing in Hampton Roads. And through the day, we'll have a lot of clouds. I'm hopeful, hopeful that we'll get some clouds or breaks in the clouds, rather, some holes in those clouds, and the sun tries to pop out. I'm hoping that happens. Uh, so we will have a southwest wind 5 to 10 miles an hour. That should prop up the temps a little bit. Won't be too cool. And we'll have highs in the 70s and lots of cloud cover. Doesn't look like any rain, but again, a stray shower too is possible later today. Now, tonight, some showers move in late. Tomorrow morning, there'll be a few showers around, and then at midday, we've got a few scattered showers, mainly inland, but then in the afternoon, the showers move in. we got quite a bit of rain coming in, and, uh, well, it's not going to add up to too much in the rain gauge, maybe about a half inch, uh, maybe three-quarters of an inch at the most, but I don't think we're going to see too much out there. Uh, but it will pick up Friday night and Saturday. And the long-range model, uh, this is going way out. This is an inch, uh, but that includes Saturday and uh, then uh, Sunday, maybe a slight chance. So here's the GFS model. It's got uh, that rain Friday night, Saturday morning, and then we go into Saturday afternoon. We start drying out, and then we dry out even more Saturday night into Sunday. Okay, so today highs in the mid-70s, Virginia Beach, upper 70s, Currituck, 76 Kilova Hills, mostly cloudy, pleasant, maybe just a stray shower late. Same for Hampton, 75, 74 Melpa, 73 in Gloucester. Now on the water, you got southwest winds 5 to 10 knots, seas 3 to 4 feet, the bay's 1 foot. We've got the Easterns today, uh, the surf competition, wave heights 4 to 7 feet, but tomorrow it's only 1 to 2, goes down, and there's no tropical systems out there, nothing expected for the next 48 hours. All right. So we got some scattered showers Friday, Friday night, Saturday morning, but drier weather moves in Saturday afternoon and Sunday.